So, a mathematician's apology. Um, so, Hardy was one of this century's finest mathematical thinkers, renowned amongst his contemporaries as a real mathematician, the purest of the pure. He was also, as C.P. Snow recounts in his foreword, unorthodox, eccentric, radical, ready to talk about anything. This apology, written as his mathematical powers were declining, offers a brilliant and engaging account of mathematics as very much more than a science. Okay, so we have a couple of people that say generations of readers, both in and out of mathematics, had read apologies, one of the most eloquent description in our language of the pleasure and power of mathematical invention. So that's from the New Yorker. And we have great mathematicians rarely write about themselves or about their work, and a few of them would have the literary gift to compose an essay of such charm, candor, and insight, a manifesto for mathematics itself. So that's from The Guardian. Hardy's book is carefully rezoned, beautifully written, and very stimulating. It can profitably be read by anyone from New Scientist. And I totally agree with all of them, so I have lots of like notes on it. And I've read it two times, I think. Yeah, so this is my, yeah, two times I read it. First, in my first attempt, I found it quite hard to read. So I didn't understand some of the concepts in here, but it was like a couple of years ago when I just started uni and I didn't know much about like the university maths and stuff like that, so I wasn't quite prepared about this. Even though he doesn't he doesn't talk about much mathematics, he just generally talks about different problems that a mathematician could find during his lifetime. First thing and the most important bit about this book, I think, is the foreword by C.P. Snow. First time when I read the book, I didn't have this edition, so I didn't read the foreword. And I think this foreword explains so good and with so much detail like relevant things about Hardy that I didn't know and he made the rest the actual a mathematician's apology book way more interesting because I actually understood his problems and the society he was living in and stuff like that so that was really important what else I can say I don't want to say too much about the book because I feel like if I talk a lot about it I will like give too many spoilers because if I want to like start talking about a topic that he talks in the book and I will give away his thoughts and stuff and I don't want to do that but I think it's quite important for anyone doesn't matter if it's a mathematician or just like a scientist or anyone that wants to know what it is to be a mathematician and the struggles that they get and how society was in that period and how people understood mathematics and like after the second world war and during the second world war and stuff like that so if you want to this is the book that will like totally open your eyes about it so yeah I've wrote a couple of blog posts about it, like quite a lot. I think I have three so far and I will list all of them in the description box below. Don't want to... You can... like one of them is just a review about the book, the other one is about like some of the questions that he poses in the book and some others are about like random inspirational quotes because I, while I was doing this I made like a sort of like a hashtag I put like inspirational quotes by Hardy because he doesn't just like randomly talk about how it is to be a mathematician it just really gives you like good advice on what it is to be like a proper scientist or like to 
to have ambition, to be ambitious and to like really like what you do and stuff like that. So I'm actually struggling to, it's not struggling, but I want to find a quote that I could actually read to you without giving away too much. And it's not the math bit, it's not the mathematics bit, it's the bit where he just talks about what it is to be ambitious and stuff like that. So just give me a second because all of these colors actually mean something. So I have like pink is for inspirational and stuff. I want to find one of my favorite pink ones. Which works for me because I'm I'm a teacher. Okay, so let's see if I can. It is one of the first duties of a professor, for example, in any subject, to exaggerate a little both the importance of his subject and his own importance in it. A man who is always asking, is why I do worthwhile? And Am I the right person to do it? Will always be ineffective himself and a discouragement to others. He must shut his eyes a little and think a little more of his subject and himself than they deserve. This is not too difficult. It is harder now to make his subject and himself ridiculous by shutting his eyes too tightly. So that was like very, very important for me when I first when I read the book a second time to actually pay attention to the small details that he puts in. So I will link everything down in the description box. Totally recommend you read the book. It's a really interesting and a thought-provoking one. Enjoy!